Well, what do you think of them? I don't know much about emeralds, but they look pretty good to me. Pretty good. And the finest stones have been found in Peru since I've been with the company. Lucky for you, they're unmounted. Why? Duties will set you back a bit. Oh, well, that's the government's funeral. Sign there, will you please? Funny how some people think green stones bring bad luck. They do. For those that haven't got them. <laughs> well, I'm not worrying about that. Safety first. Very good idea. Right. Well, I better be getting along. Well, I hope to see you with us on another trip. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Oh, hello, Lee. How are you? When did your boat dock? No, don't talk, Harvey. Just listen. I've only got a few minutes before the train goes. And if I miss it, I miss one of the biggest things I've ever been after. Now, look here. All right, go ahead. Well, when I was in South America, I got the tip that a young fellow, an agent for a firm in Peru, was bringing over a valuable consignment. And I want you... What? I said, what's he got? Emerald. Well, where do I come in? A 50-50 split. And I want you to be ready to go on the continent the first thing in the morning and get rid of them. It looks as though we might get that little trip to Paris sooner than we expected. Darling! Uh, have you got them? No, not yet. The purser had charge of them. And I had to wait until... Huh? Have you seen my uncle? No, we better find him. Come on, we're off. Come on. Oh, yes, I've got everything fixed. We're all coming up together tonight. No, no, don't meet me. My niece is with me. I'll come round to your flat as soon as I get in. Now, is everything clear? Hmm? Yeah, hurry up, Mr. Lee, if you want to catch that train. Oh, I just can't. Oh, hurry up. Come on, back up. I'm here by the kitchen. I'm here by the kitchen. I'm here by the kitchen. Your bag. Trust a porter to mix up your luggage. Do you know what time we get in in the morning? Yes, yeah, I'll find out. I'll take this along. Oh, thanks. Oh, I suppose it will be some unearthly hour in the morning. Well, to be exact, if the train's up to time, quarter past seven. Well, why on earth didn't you? There was an opportunity of being alone with you. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I was just thinking how you're improving. Improving? Yes. The first few days on the boat, I couldn't make out where you were. Shy or just married? Well, I... I thought the proper thing to do was to get to know your uncle first and then get him to introduce me. On a boat? <laughs> you are old-fashioned. Why? Well, I told him to speak to you first. Well, I'll be damned. What? I beg your pardon. Look here, what about lunch tomorrow? Tea, dinner, theatre, supper. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got a house to open and servants to buy. Yeah, hold on. You haven't given me your address. What are you looking at? You. Oh. Everything you do is adorable. How many other girls have you shown that to? Uh, yes, and how many other girls' addresses have you got in this book? I tore all those out the first day I met you. Oh, do you expect me to believe that? Well, I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. Oh, oh what? You entered at quarter past seven. Oh. Oh, that's going to hurt. Young lady, you better run off to bed. You'll miss your beauty sleep. I suppose I'd better. Good night, Dick. Good night. Good night, Uncle. Good night, dear. See you both in the morning. Well, I think I'll turn into. No, wait a minute. There's plenty of time. How about a nightcap? Oh, well, I thought I'd have a talk I always have one. There's some glasses over there. You know, I still feel the motion of that boat. Yes, some people do for days. Say when. Thank you. Yes. We're in the station, sir. What? 
Jason. You're up to hurry, sir. Why didn't you call me before? I did, sir, half an hour ago. I didn't hear you. Sorry, sir, tell me I'll do for you now. Well, no, thanks. I'll be out in a minute. I don't think he'll let me. Get out. Uncle, yes? would you mind if I stay with Margie for a day or Please, two? Please, Mr. Lee. It'll make it so much easier to open the house and to find service. Well, we'd love to have her. Excellent idea. Oh, thanks. Where will you go? Oh, Uncle, will you drop my trunk at the house? What? All oh, I yes, need sir. is my suitcase and my small black bag. Oh, certainly, yes. Father! Uncle, my trunk, I've been right. Yes, sir? I've lost something. What is it, sir? Let me look, Mark Williams. It's a small, shabby leather bag. Hey, driver, pull in there quick, will you? Thank you. I'm Morton. Mr. Lee, what are you doing in our neighborhood? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I'll... What's happened? <laughs> you look as though you'd seen a ghost. Yes, I've had rather a serious loss. What? I'm a bit hazy about last night. I thought perhaps you were. Well, why not come down to my place? It's just up the street. Mm. We can talk better there. All right, Sorry, gentlemen. I won't keep you a moment. I have another customer upstairs. All right, we'll come back later. Uh, just a minute, Morton. As a matter of fact, I came here to telephone. All right, go ahead. Do you mind if I use your phone? Certainly. Go Please. right ahead. Mine's Please. not connected yet. Well, that's a good man gone to. He was just coming up to you, What the deuce? Oh, oh, there you are. What is this game we are playing, eh? Hide and seek or hunt the slipper. What is it? Very sorry, sir. Oh, sorry, sorry. Don't start arguing. If I want to play with spiders or hearings, I choose my own dusty attic. Let's get on with it, please. Yes, sir. Uh, young generation today, very clever, I'm told, eh? Well, I wish I could see where it came in. That's all I have to say. I'm just to show the line. I've never known anything like What? I haven't time to explain now. He's here in the shop. No, no. The door's shut. What? Does he suspect? All right, I can be your house in a few minutes. All right, but hurry. And, and I'll leave the front door open. Ready? Sorry to be so long. Ah, that's all right. Well, I can't understand it. He does sound fishy. I only wish I could help you. I went straight to bed after you left me. 
You're quite certain it wasn't in your compartment? No, I turned the damn place upside down. And yours too. The attendant helped me. Have you notified the police? No. Well, why? Because the moment I did that, I'd have to cable my firm in South America. Then goodbye job and reputation. Well, I won't worry you anymore. Well, if I can help in any way, don't hesitate to call on me. When you're quite sure you can't help me? <laughs> My dear boy, you know if I can't... Come on, cut the bluff, hand him over. What do you mean? This. If you didn't take him, I'd remain to this bag in here. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, perhaps the policeman will help you to remember. You can't do that. Oh, well, hand him over then. Come on. Do you think you have made a fine mess of things? Well, I didn't think he'd come to until this afternoon. Oh, we'll have to get out of the country, quick. Is he all right? Yes, yes. You'll be well on our way before he wakes up this bag. Let's see, we can get a plane to Paris. Here. Better give me those terms. Come on. I haven't got them. Run for them. What have you done with them? On the way to your flat, he saw me. I lost my head. Dive into a shop. Huh? I thought I'd get out the back way. When I found I couldn't, I hid them in a clock. In a clock? I didn't know how much he knew. Oh, what did you want to do that I didn't want the things found on me. Oh, you fool. He would have been in prison and Alva would have found out everything. Oh, where is this place? It's an antique shop just round the corner. Oh, wait a minute. We better tie him up. Come on. You can send the cabinet to this address. Right. I'll take that picture with me. Rather nice old clock, that, sir. Pedal sticks. <laughs> Not worth tuppence. What do you want for it? Well, it needs a new movement. <coughs> needs gunpowder, I think. Hope you haven't heard so I'm not asking for your sympathy. I'm asking for the price. What do you want for it? Well, let me see now. Uh, well, come along, uh, come along, come along. What are you waiting for? Uh, where about from the shop is it? It's on a, a desk, at the foot of the stairs. Yeah, but what does it look like? Well, it's walnut, inlaid. It's about that far. No, oh, no, 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 not the clock on the front seat. What's the matter with you? Are you deaf? There, there. I don't see it anywhere. What sort of a clock was it? Uh, my wife said it was on a desk near the stairs, but I... Well, that's a funny thing, sir. Jim huh? just bought it and taken it away in his car. Today. Uh, uh, my wife will be disappointed. Well, it's not worth very much. But perhaps if you offered him a small uh, That's coffee, an idea. Uh, perhaps you could give me his address. I'll drop in and see him. Certainly, but I'm afraid oh. you'll have to drop some 250 miles. Oh. Cornwall, he's on his way there now. Well, I could write to him. By all means, do. Take down his address. Well, can I? Thanks very much. Can I borrow your pencil? Certainly, sir. Thank you. Thaddeus, Catamo, Brompton. Uh -huh. The Grange, End Lane, St. Ferrers. Right. End Lane, St. Ferrers. Hang on a minute. I'll get my hat. Oh, no, you don't. You stay here and watch the boy. Oh, all right. Oh. What about your niece? She's all right. She's staying with a friend. Won't be here till tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute. How are you going down? By car. And you stay here till I get back. And he's the most marvelous dancer. And how do you think you like living in South America? Oh, don't be an idiot. There's nothing like that. We're just good friends. Oh, by the way, yes? we've got some people coming in tonight. Why don't you bring him up? He might like to come along. Oh, why didn't you tell me that before? Uncle's taken my things to the house and I have nothing to wear. Well, we can go around to your house and you can get what you need. All right. You ready? Yes. Oh, Alpha. Yes? You'll be about a quarter of an hour. Yes. Well, meet me and Michelle. I've got a fitting. All right, dear.
I suppose you don't know. No? I was wondering when I was going to meet the female member of the gang. Gang? What are you talking about? Oh, your innocence is even funnier than... than your uncle. Uncle? What does it mean? I... I... Uncle! Oh, stop this pay acting. I give you my word, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, if you're on the level, get me out of this. Oh, Albert! Don't do that. Why not? Because he'll go to jail if you do. Jail? Oh, it is true what he said. Uncle! If it isn't true, why did he drug me last night and steal my emeralds? And why, when I came here, was I hit in the head and tied up like this? Oh! you win. There's a train leaving Paddington in 25 minutes. That ought to get us there almost as soon as Harvey. Let me see. Miss Ferris. Doing yodeling? No, sir, not yodeling. Yo yoing, sir. Then don't do it. And and stop that St. Vitus's thing. It makes me dizzy. Yes, sir. Hello? What? All right. That London number don't answer, sir. I'm not surprised the noise you've been making into it. Leave it alone. Come here yes, and sir. help me with this ladder. Yes, sir. What a boy. What a boy. What a boy. What is it? What do you want? Uh, I beg your pardon, oh, Mr. Come, Brompton, come, sir. Come, come, come. What is it? Uh, it's all the same for you, yes. Mr. Brompton, sir. Uh, could I pop out? Pop out? Pop out? Everybody wants to pop out today. The housemaid's popped out. Oh, my grandson. Oh, is... your grandson. What do you want to pop out for? Uh, half an hour, sir. Half an hour? I might have be left alone with your grandson for half an hour. You've no, no right sir. to ask. Well, I wouldn't have had, sir, if my friend oh, Mrs. Enfecker hadn't been too... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't say you couldn't go, did I? No, sir. Thank <laughs> now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't say you could go. Oh. <laughs> well, off you go. Off you go. I shall never hear the end of it. Here, come up, come back, come back. Yes, sir. What, uh, what, what is it? Oh, I yes. know. Yes, the clock. Clock? Uh, the, that clock. Remind me to take it to the village yes, in the morning. The yes. man at the shop said it needed a new movement. Very good, sir. Yes. Very good. Uh, yes. uh, Wilfred, yes, sir. will you come here yes, sir. and be a good little boy? Yes, just sir. Away? I'm a little nervy, you see. Will you kindly put that thing away? Yes, sir. Thank you, my boy. Thank you.
I was angry with you. It was my head. No, sir. Now, look here, Wilfred. Yes, sir. I want you to go into the kitchen. Yes, sir. And in the right-hand top drawer of the dresser, yes, you will find a green box. Yes. In that green box, there is a hammer. It's right there, sir. Why ain't it? Isn't it? I dropped it down the well yesterday. What? When I was mending something. If you don't get me a hammer, I'll drop it. you trying to do murder me. Now, who the devil is that? Shall I answer the door, sir, sir? No, do as I tell you. Yes, sir. What do you think you are, a centipede? Oh, do you mean one of these things with a lot of legs? If you don't get me that hammer, I'll skin you alive. What a boy. Well, what do you want and why? Uh, good evening. Well, you seem to have had a very good evening. I have run out of the tooth. Well, I wouldn't say so from the look of you. Well, it's damn good. <laughs> it's really damn hey, clever. What do you mean? What? I didn't mean juice for the inside. Hmm? I mean juice for the motor. Oh, Pistol, why didn't you say so before? I'm sorry, I can't help you. Yeah, but you no, 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 my garage is locked up. The chauffeur's gone for the night. He's got the key. Good night. Uh, but the no, 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 what is it you want now? Now, what do you want now, right? Well, what is it? Harvey. Well, what are we waiting for? Better let me go alone. Oh, no, you don't. Now, look here, Morton. Harvey's going to be difficult to handle. Oh, don't worry, I'll take care of him. If you want those stones back without any fuss, better let me... Please, won't you trust us just a little longer? All right, I'll give you ten minutes. Hello. 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 Oh, oh the thing was out of order. I'm not surprised the way the boy was shouting into it. Well, yeah. your only hope now is the bell. Good night. Maybe, Yes, but Cocoon's with... Who the devil is that? Well? I beg your pardon. Eh? Could I speak to the gentleman that just called here? What? Oh, there he is. Excuse me. Bless my soul. What do they take this for? Public house? I'm uh, on the favor of a bit out of luck. Can't get any petrol here. <coughs> what in heaven's name is that? Like that? Well, it sounded like one to me. Come on, come on. I tell you, you've got to. I promised my niece. I don't care what you promised. That's your business. Well, I'll let you in on this. And I'm going to stay in. Is that clear? All right. Morton knows what? the girls are in the car. Well, how did he? He's outside. He's given me ten minutes to get them back. You can deal with him. Yeah. Don't be a Think now. Don't be a Think now. Think now. Oh, supposing nothing's happened. Now, you wait here. Oh, do be careful. Don't let anyone see you. Don't worry. Did you see anything, sir? Ah! <laughs> now I've caught cold. You with your faces and your eyes of fire. <laughs>
comes of your grandmother popping out to see sick friends. And another thing I want to speak to her about, you reading those penny dresses. That's what I'm beginning to wonder. Oh, well, quick, open that door. Something terrible has happened in there to my uncle. Your uncle? Who was your uncle? Oh, hurry, please. It's the first with the eyes of fire. Betcha. Hold your tongue. Oh, hurry, please. There are two men inside. I hope they're both your uncle and you'll take them both away. Bless my soul. People bursting into my house, uncle's eyes of fire. Stuck doors? What is this all about? What does it mean? No one here. They're gone. Well, you don't suppose I'm going to cry about yes. that? No, 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 no. What do you mean? What is that window? Window? Yes, I looked for it only a moment ago. Yes? From the outside. Huh? I saw a man. Man? Here. Here? Tying up my uncle and gagging him. Tying him up and gagging him? Why, what are you talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. I won't have you poking your nose into my house. Don't you think you'd better go home and, and go to bed? Oh, you don't believe me. Now, young lady, you'd better tell me all about it. All right. Yes? You bought the clock this morning. Hey? Didn't you? Well? There was something inside belonging to a friend of mine. What is it? It's... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I can't tell you. What? But it's a bomb. Bomb? Yes, sir. Hey? We often put them in clocks. Hmm? In the bloodstained ceiling, oh. when the clock struck twelve. Oh. Bang! <laughs> Sorry, sir. <coughs> Are you all right, sir? Don't do that, you idiot. What do you mean by fighting anybody Please. like that? Would you? May I see the clock? Now, young lady. Yes. If there is something in this clock, how can you prove it is yours? It's not mine. What? It belongs to a friend of mine. Outside. Outside? What, another? Yes. What did I tell you? The face with the eyes of fire. Be quiet. Is the one outside the one who was tying your uncle up? No, he's the one that's trying to steal the clock. The one outside is the real owner of what's in the clock. But which one put it in the clock? Oh, that one. That was another one. Another one? Oh, yes. Now, listen. Somebody outside owns it. Well, not exactly. Oh, no, no. Bless my... Now, listen to me, dear. Listen to me. Somebody put something in the clock which somebody outside owns. Yes. But he doesn't exactly own it because somebody else who isn't here, who gagged oh. somebody else and... Maybe I'm crazy. No, sir. It's her. Please, the clock. Will you show it to me? Clock. Clock. Grandma clock. put it away. What? You told her to, sir. Where did she put it? I don't know, sir. No, neither do I. Oh, please. Now, young lady, now, you come along with me. Come along with me. No, no, no. If you find your friend, and if there is anything in this clock, and he can prove it is his, I'll see what can be done when my housekeeper returns. All you right. See? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, but my eyes hey, are That's all right. I'll have a look for him. Thanks. Are you going to look for Uncle, as you said, sir? Yes, and I wouldn't be surprised if we found Lloyd George or the Chinese Emperor. Forward. No one in there. I think we'll have a look upstairs. Be careful, sir. Hey? In the blood-stained ceiling, when Martin Hope went upstairs, 
He found a red Indian, hide him with a knife. I'll hide you with a knife if you don't put that thing away. Yes, sir. You open that door. I just turned the handle. But you couldn't have. But I have had. But I say you couldn't have. I mean have. The door was stuck. Well, you must have been mistaken, sir. Don't keep answering me, Maggie. If it wasn't stuck, it was locked. Did you lock it? Me, sir, lock but it. That's what are you deaf? Deaf? Well, that's one thing we've never been troubled with in our family. How about Uncle George? I'm not interested in your Uncle George. Take that. What did you do with that clock? Clock? Oh, clock, no, clock, clock don't go clock, on clucking clock. like an old hen. The clock I told you to put away. Oh, that one. Which do you think I meant, Big Ben? Oh, I put it in the old cupboard. I hope that wasn't wrong. Whoever said it was wrong, you're always looking for trouble. Will you kind of go and fetch it? Yes, I yes. never meant to do one at all. My blessed ever did your job. What a woman. What a woman. It's locked. Well, unlock it. The key ain't here. Well, where is it? How should I know? Well, you locked it. Where did you put it? I never had it to put. Oh, you try the patience of Nelson's monument. You put that clock away, didn't you? Yes, sir. In there? Yes. Well, you didn't shove it through the keyhole, did you? Yes. What? No, uh, yes. Uh, well, no. don't come along. Uh, make up your mind. Uh, uh, oh, you get me so uh, flustered. Uh, I didn't lock it, and uh, wild horses on their bended knees won't get me to say I did. What have wild horses got to do with it? Have you got another key? Yes, sir, up in the attic. Well, then go and get it. Yes, sir. Up in the attic. What in the attic? Loses keys, stands arguing about wild horses, Cantankerous old plum pulley. Oh, 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 my foot, my foot. Snakes and leather. Sorry, sir. Oh, what a pair. What a pair. Stay here. Yes, sir. And I settled down to a nice quiet evening at home. I wonder who will be the next on the list. Winston Churchill, I suppose. Or the Sultan of Turkey looking for his Paris. Come here. Yes, sir. Oh, this picture. Yes, sir. When I don't want you, you're always here. When I do want you, you're always at my elbow. Yes, sir. What a boy. What a boy. Sir. What is it? What is it? It's the lunatic, sir. Which one? Outside, the pretty one. There are no pretty lunatics. In the bloodstained ceiling, it says. Oh, why doesn't somebody answer that bell? Answer it! Yes. Give me that. It's locked, sir. Now, now don't you start that. Heaven's name is going on in this house tonight. Open the door. Open it, I say.
I didn't say you did. Don't stand there arguing. Answer the bell. Woman's not only deaf, she's crazy. Oh, have you got my uncle? No, 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 I'm not. Right I there. can't find my friend outside yes. either. Oh, something horrible going on here. Oh, you think so, do you? Oh, you've got the clock. No, 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 I was just going to get it. Have you got that key? Crikey! The key's in the lock. Bless me, the woman's not only deaf, she's blind. Blind? We've never had no eye trouble in our family. Be quiet about your family. I wish you were all dumb. Uncle! There's nothing in here. Harvey took them. A moment ago. Please, quick, some water. Some water? What? Yes. Now, oh, what rubbish are you talking? But there isn't any there, sir. Yeah. Seeing things again, eh? No, sir. Oh, ah! What is the matter? I beg your pardon. If I have told you to explain, sir, what you're doing here. I'm awfully sorry. I must have fallen asleep. He's got them. Just what I don't know what you're talking about. Take, Take it nice and easy now. I tell you, none of you will get hurt. Oh, okay, my man, you can't. Take that there, I'll Why, bless me, it's the man from the antique shop. Ah! Now then, I'll trouble you to hand over what you took out of that clock. All right? No, you don't. None of that. Me ought to accommodate him. Here, you. Grandpa! How oh, dare you! None of that, neither. You're not arguing with your housekeeper now. Go over there and get that little packet. You'll find in that gent's waistcoat pocket. This is the first time a cat old Brumpton has ever been associated with a common bargain. Ah! That's all right, Alba. I don't blame you. Aren't you going to do something? Do something? <laughs> By the time I did something, he'd be out of the country. Mr. Morton. How do you know my name? Your passports, your papers. Oh, thanks. I must have slipped out of my pocket. Wait a moment. You would have saved yourself a lot of trouble and me a broken window if you come to me in the first place. It's all my fault. I asked him to what wait. What sort of an idiot do you think I am? You suppose I didn't examine the clock when I took it home? What? I tried to get through to the antique shop, but I didn't answer. Then you've got him. You suppose I didn't know there was something wrong when they all came bouncing into the house one after another? Well, when I asked you, why didn't you? Well, I admit, I admit I knew what you were after and be torn to pieces, eh? Well, why didn't you take him out of the clock? Who said I didn't? But I saw Harvey take the clock. Shut it out. <laughs> Rubbish, you saw him take the key out of the clock. I, I wrapped it in a bit of tissue paper so it shouldn't rattle about. Well, I don't know what to say. I don't know. No, oh, well, I'm really thing. glad you don't put it past my bedside. But the emerald, eh? Oh, call at my solicitors in the morning. Mrs. Yes, Thack Kettle will give you the address. Good night. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. See, they have something to eat. Yes. And and yes. and drink if they want it. Yes, sir. Oh, Mr. Bumpton, sir. Yes. Will that be all for tonight, sir? Oh, what more do you want? An earthquake? <laughs> the 
that boy. That boy. <laughs> 